Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Fire 4 Kai's Dragon's right, Middle Africa. Let us continue on from where we last left off. We always in the right spec. Happy to have that. So, we should soon go to war against the Portuguese. Because they keep raiding our border. We've had multiple police officers shot. I think it's time for a little bit of revenge. Just, 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 a, little, just a little sliver of revenge. What are we going to do? Like, are we going to take territory? I would like to. I, I would like to own some land. Stability is still going to be an issue. Uh, for for sure. Okay, a third police officer has been shot. Very cool. Uh, we need to build tactical bombers. Because that's where we're missing production. Tactical bombers are... Not you. They're you. Yes. We don't have a military factory for you right now, but we'll... Uh, that, that should get resolved eventually. Okay, so we get the steel and more civilian factories. More civilian factories allows us to trade with the outside world. 15 days on you. I mean, 150 political power would almost get me out of the negative. It wouldn't get me completely out because we'd be at negative six. But we'd be pretty we'd be pretty close. Okay, Belgian investment. We no longer have legal chaos as well. We're only now losing 0.2%. So, which is that every... I don't think we'll collapse. I mean, it'd be a while to get negative 38% stability. Losing 0.2 a week. So, that'd be one... Every five weeks, is one stability. So, we've one times 38. Or five times 38. Which is, like, three to four years from now. We should be fine. Military reforms. Do you give me any factories here? Supply consumption minus 5% is not bad. Naval base, you know what naval bases, naval dockyards? Okay, no, there are there's definitely some military factories over here. But I think we can wait a little a little longer on that. A stupid amount of rubber would be nice. We had to start producing stuff for Berlin. So we got some factories over here as well. I think still I want to go for Belgium? I mean, you're another research slot as well. Yeah, let, let's just have Belgium. Let's just do everything we have we can with the Belgians. We're now at negative 9%. Negative 9 steel. We can go one more with you. Give me one aluminum from uh, Berlin as well. So we can start producing things at a decent rate. How long until my, my dockyard's done? May of 39. Okay, so like it's still a dumb amount of time from now. But I mean, eventually we'll get there, right? Eventually. Also, uh, Nazi land plantation been burned. Akashi plantation Nazi land has been burned by bandits operating across the Portuguese border. Portugal, I swear to God. And we lose fire sensibility. So there's no resources here. There's literally no resources in all of Angola. There's no resources here. And there's no re... Why would I even want anything from Portugal then? Because, I mean, these colonies don't have anything in them. I mean, I might be missing something. Like, maybe if we take them over, we can get some uh, some cool stuff. But it kind of... They also kind of seem ass. Like, there's just nothing there. It's not like Botswana. Look at Botswana. Look, look at this shit. They got... They, no, please. Let me let me play on Botswana. They got 211 chromium. Those motherfuckers are rolling in it. Okay, we got construction too. Let's go for 1918 weapons. Follow that up with... 38 is a little too expensive. Give 36 artillery here. Follow you up. Fuel game per oil might be okay. Give me radio. We have one, so we have two resource, uh, two research slots here. The death of Bernard Dernberg. That news today arrived in Berlin. Uh, Bernard Dernberg, former head of the Imperial Colonial Office, died. Very, very sad. Hey, stability. Let's fucking go. By the way, we get one research slot here, or we get one research slot here. I don't want to do this research slot because that allows us to do hold new elections. Which will, one, give me 150 political power. So maybe I could do something. 
Uh, but also gives us an event, and that event might give us stability. And I like stability. Because then my country's not going to implode on itself. Also, America. This, this is bad for MacArthur. This is very, very good for uh, uh, the CSA. Which I'm not happy with. Kingdom of Spain is not doing bad. They could end up killing CNT here. And I'd be happy with that development. Just having another... I mean, as long as Carlos or the King of Spain wins, I'm happy with that. Even if the Carlos are pro entente. Just as long as they're anti-international. That's really what we're looking for. Okay, Bulgaria is going to be killed very, very soon. Ukraine. Going uh, social democratic. Could go socialist. Ruthenia. It's hard to say with you uh, for right now. The Baltic Duchy collapsed. Okay. SAP. Did you go SAP and also... Uh, okay, you did not do the coalition. So Sweden should end up doing the right fact as well. The bandits don't ever fear our famous might of the Scari anymore. They raided and stolen supplies from one of our military depots. Okay. And another 6% stability loss. I can't afford to lose all this goddamn stability. I'm not made of stability, my, my guy. I got negative 13.6. I'm in stability debt right now. I'm going to take my stability house away. In the 1937 economic crash of, of, of stability. <laughs> uh, okay. The no template, and that's still for support equipment and artillery. Can I, can I afford to throw artillery in here? I mean, I know I don't actually have any army experience. But theoretically, I would have enough. To, uh, to make those support units. Give me... F you know what? Don't give me more units here. Well, I'm just going to make you into 20 combat. Well, I can. I'll make you into 20 combat with. So just give me... Uh, give me five more to infantry. Can I afford a tank? Be 226. How many trucks do we have? 500? Okay. Give me one Panzer as well. I think, you know, Middle Africa can actually have a surprisingly large army. And I'm happy with that. And what are you guys up to? And again, because you are my puppets, I can just request that you, you give me all of your units whenever I want. So that's, you know, it's like an extra 15 divisions there. Portugal's question. We've lost a form of complaint against Portugal. They continue to exist in these bandit camps. Well, this is a clear threat to our colony. If they cannot deal with a few bandits, they are clearly not fit to be a colonial power. Okay. German, Af uh, German Empire is going to get a little bit of... Uh... We're going to hear about this. Foreign officer declares matter resolved. Portuguese have been forced to step down by the Berlin government. It looks like the right call was made. Okay, we remove border raids. 4% stability, plural autocrats. Thank you very much, Kaiser Wilhelm. I think that means that we're not going to actually invade them anymore. And I'm kind of okay with that. Uh, mostly based on the fact that, hey, this territory fucking sucks. Also, what flag is this? Why? Look at look at this flag they got for for, uh, for Mozambique. I have never seen that in my entire life. I'm guessing, I'm guessing that's like national populist uh, Mozambique. Okay, we got we got political power. We're in the positives. They said it could not be done. But my god, we're here. What year? It's 30. Yeah, we'll go 38 uh, research. I think that's reasonable. Now that our country is elections, we are no longer fitting that our politics are made up of military factions. The people who once supported the DKG have formed the Kaiser und Wasserland Party, uh, while also those who supported the KNR are now the Afrikaner Action Party. The Social Democratic Party has also been. I think it was just. A Social Democratic Party was also formed. Like, who? Who gets a fuck? We're not gonna give this. We're not gonna give the social democrats any power in this in this government. Are you out of your goddamn minds? But I mean, I'm glad to have the. Uh, I'm I'm glad to have the political power, and I'm glad to have. Uh, I mean, I guess the names here don't matter in, in any way. Also, you still call the reform group. I don't know if you're uh, aware of that. That event. I wonder. Is that event bugs? Because the names literally didn't change at all. At least I don't think they did. Okay, give me better extraction. 
Missing one Tungsten is not a big deal. Barcelona's... Barcelona's fallen. See and... What the hell? The Spanish victory point rushed. I mean, if you can take Valencia, I think you might actually kill... Uh, I mean, not a low support. Oh, I'm very happy with this development. I've never... I don't think... Like, AI doesn't victory point rush. I'm surprised they went straight to Barcelona. That's something that I would do. And then usually it ends up backfiring because the AI can't defend the front line properly and they end up collapsing. But... You know, I'm glad to see it. Unless... What I said happens and they eventually just, you know, close in the gap and they get all killed and then I'll be sad about it. No, I, I know. CNT's dead, right? They're, they're not making a comeback from this. And once CNT's dead and it's just a two-way civil war, whoever owns more territory ends up usually winning. I say that, but the Carlists are, uh, they're, they're rapidly pushing their way into the Kingdom of Spain. Uh, hey, Kingdom of Spain. Are you fucked? I think you might be fucked. A split in the reform group. Now that the reforms have been implemented, the reform group has been struggling to come up with what to do next. It has caused a split in the party. The right wing of the party, which wants to limit uh, voting rights to whites and implementing reforms to make whites rule easier, have formed the Vashavater Party. The liberal wing of the party, which wants to implement more liberal reforms, is now the new reform group. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure we're still the social conservatives. I'm not going to worry about that too much. Hey, you know what would be very, very funny? If, if the King of Spain killed off CNT, and then immediately uh, the Carlos just unif unified Spain, again, I would not mind that. For the reason that as long as CNT loses, I'm happy. Also, the King of Spain, the King of Spain can stay neutral, which is not good. We, we do not want a neutral, uh, a neutral Spain. Good movies the war of Kenya. I know Kenya is our puppet, but I don't know where else to put these units right now. I mean, I guess I could just put him into Germany directly. Yeah, make you into a 20 uh, combat. Yeah, and you know what? Just ship you guys over to, over to Berlin, like, right away. Because I see no reason for you to even hang out down here. And I think Blue Army, we can probably get a military access via the Kingdom of France or the French Republic. If we need to ever invade uh, from the south. How many more divisions can we have? 12? I think just like this should be, should be fine. And they'll all go into Blue Army afterwards. CNT's been annexed. Again, I'm happy with that. But I don't think the Kingdom of Spain is going to be lasting uh, for too much longer. Let me just put it that way. Actually, you, this is all cores, right? Yeah, it is a core state. So the Kingdom of Spain can actually fight on a little bit longer than I was expecting. But, I mean, the Carlist. The Carlist always join the Entente. So I know it's kind of funny, but we do kind of actually... We do, we do prefer them to be in charge. First African uh, election. Ballots have been opened in all areas where voting is allowed. White settlers, certain black chiefs, and Ascari have been given the right to vote. Guaranteeing electoral victory for the pro germ parties. But which one will win the election? So we either go for total autocrat, market liberal, authoritarian democrat, or social conservative. I mean, I would just, yeah, just give social conservatives. For now, 48% support. That gives me more political power gain. And we have a new governor. Wait, the Kaiser uh, decided to appoint his own loyal man instead of listening to the will of the Middle African people. Uh, there is not much that we can do about this, as their own election model would be modeled after the Prussian constitutionalism. Uh, okay. So everybody hates this. So we've now gone uh, authoritarian democratic. Very, very cool. Thank you, Kaiser. We'd love to see it. Anyways, Russia's at war in Central Asia. Go 38 support weapons. And that also means that like now my party is not popular. Now we have like now we're like, we've cut our political power gain in half. Okay, cottage industries. Follow you up with get two. Give me give me uh cash crops. 
I mean, the Carlists are obviously going to win, right? I mean, I say that. I don't know if it's actually, like, guaranteed. We're no longer losing stability. We might just be sitting at negative 18 forever. No, because once we're at... No, we'll be fighting a defensive war. But that's that's a boost in war support. Defensive war is still a stability loss. We're going to be taking another negative 20, which is going to down to negative 38, which is cutting it extremely fucking close. Right? It's a negative 20 when you're at war. It's not a negative 30, right? Because a negative 30 is just we lose. And the country collapses. Stability plus 8%. Cheaper trains? I mean, that's, that's something. I don't think I really see Railway uh, Magnet too often. Santiago's fallen. Convoys are cheaper. Political power gain. Party popularity, stability modifier. That would have been really nice if we stayed conservative. I guess we'll go legalist. Just a little bit of stability. I don't believe we have any more. We got a 5% here. And you know, we actually got a 10% down here as well. African bread baskets. We get a ton of resources as well. Cape to Cairo. War industries. But that's, we can't do that until 38. It is December 37. So you know what? We will probably uh, make our way down there. That dead should be more than okay. And you're still my puppets, right? Okay. I was a little worried that maybe uh, in Nigeria, the Gold Coast and Kenya would switch to being uh, Berlin puppets, but luckily they didn't, be the, uh, they didn't end up being the case. But I think that at least for right now, this is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching. My name is Anthony. If you enjoyed my thumbs up. Now you can always thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.